in a way. Well, anyway, when I first went through this, and it was a guy I knew at the time, um, he normally is someone I go to when I go through some trouble times and he helped me get back on my feet. But I kind of knew something was up because of the way he was acting. So immediately I didn't even ask for no help. But he come to anyway. Talking about he can help me and I'm broke now. This is when I first went down. So I'm already fragile and panic mode. But even then, he was like, Bro, I can help you get 15 grand. That's when he was telling me about this scam shit and shit. And I had called him and I was like, man, why your phone say scam something or some shit? It said something crazy. He was like, yeah, man, I do that shit, blah, 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 blah. He didn't tell me beforehand, but when I was hurting, I guess he felt comfortable to tell. So he was like, man, you get 15 grand right now. And I asked him how and he explained it. And I said, nah, bro. The hell, I didn't steal when I was at my lowest before. I, well, I ain't gonna do it now. So he looked at me crazy, you know what I'm saying? Almost like he was upset because this person go to church every Sunday and shit. Some wins. So it's like he looking at me like, oh, hell no, nah, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So he's sitting there talking about it, and I watched him do it. I watched him leave from my house and pick up, rack up about 17 grand easily out of account, some freaky ass way they did this shit. And basically just hacking shit, taking people's shit. And I told him, I said, bro, that money you took from whoever you took it from, they probably needed it worse than we did. He was like, well, God just blessed us, 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 us. Now you know what I'm saying? God didn't bless you a fuck. The devil did. And he wanted back. He, he, it's about time for you to get ready to pay it up, ain't you? That's one thing about good about the devil. You got to return that. You better. See, people like this used to write me off as lame, but they son can't tell Mr. Miyagi shit. What them boys fail to realize is that they got up to this part, this far from fucking with me. If I tell you that I ain't never had to steal, why the fuck are you stealing? And guess what? Since then, I saw them again, and they ain't moved the lead. Actually, they don't went further back. And they still don't get it. I don't know why that happened. It happened, motherfucker, because what you stole is being returned karmically. You get it now? Motherfuckers out there scamming my shit, laughing with your big teeth. That's why that one motherfucker that was in my studio that time, I should have went on here and slapped your goddamn head off, bro. Because you don't want to talk to these niggas that shit. And I told you, don't teach no nigga no goddamn white collar crime. And now the shit done went berserk. I ain't gonna say you taught them all, but goddamn it, you and uh, a couple of them, yeah. Because I've been knowing how to do this shit. Since the 12th grade. And not once have you seen me do it. I know motherfuckers who can clean out everybody's account in the world and be a millionaire overnight. You ain't seen me do none of that shit. Y'all out here acting like they don't see y'all. They see y'all. That's a whole different crime, son. They just letting it add up. You thought you were doing time for dope. You on they field now. They finna clean you motherfuckers up, bro. That's one thing about the tech world, bro. They wouldn't have never made it go, uh, they wouldn't have never made it live like it is today to the point where we got to do commerce on it and everything if they didn't have all that shit figured out by now. Somebody see you, dawg. You better know it. You better know it. Because a lot of y'all that stole my shit, I know y'all stole it because when I got emails, y'all information be on it. The only reason why I didn't that damn turn this shit in and they ain't fuck y'all up, man, because I ain't no snitch. 
And I let the shit got deleted off my phone. I ain't even give a fuck. Because I already know what being a thief get a motherfucker in the streets, bro. That's one of the first come ups for little niggas like me. We had, the, when I did have to steal, that's when I stole. But immediately got the fuck out of it. Cause that's a real life and death life right there. That's an army life right there. If you a thief and you've been a thief for years, you've been in the army for years. Cause you gotta sleep with two Watt Waller by your bed then and a gun. Damn, scam artists is legal. Legal. Legally, y'all. Doing this shit to us. In a crash economy. Whoop their ass. The government ain't gonna do shit. Locate them like they located you. And beat the goddamn tarp off their head. Make them like it. And then take that, take a hundred dollars with you. And put it in their fucking mouth. And knock out the first three teeth in their mouth when you put it in there. Oh. Uh, piss me off, bro. And I was going somewhere. I get tired of going on social media, man and looking at uh, the tarot cards or something and seeing how many people get right. I know it's the truth. Cause they claim my motherfucking clock with the help of my family. And smiled about it. Bought car vets, businesses, trucks, uh, five or six iPhones at one time, shit coming to my email. I told God, I said, I should have did that shit myself. I'm sitting here trying to build businesses and help these bitter bombs get jobs. Not just for me and my family, but to help them too. And them same bitter bombs robbed the dirt shit out of me. Clean my clock. Along with one of my twins. Her name came to my email too, Shawty. Yeah, you came too. I already knew it was you in a way. Because I know you gave my goddamn card information to the nigga. Now, Bet y'all didn't think I knew that shit, did you? Cause immediately I warned somebody right after I figured it out and I said, don't go over there cause she gave my shit to a scam artist. I already know about all the bullshit been going on. How y'all be luring motherfuckers in hotels and robbing them if not killing them. In a crash economy. You niggas are not gangsters, dog. You niggas are not thugs, bro. They don't do shit like that. That's some pussy shit. They don't shoot people all the time when they back turn. They don't sneak people all the time. Man, ain't no real in that shit. You don't feel good when you go home. A gangster and a thug is a man, dog. A man doing what he have to to survive. Not no funny bunny. I remember, bro. One of my, my this, um, the twin, the last twin I was dealing with, bro, just because the nigga was riding good. Cause I walked to her, 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 her job. And we didn't really know each other. But what she didn't know is the nigga that was riding good was living off his parents. I mean, it might look like I'm doing that, but we we own a state. We don't just own a home. We pay for this shit together. We own this shit together. I ain't the kind of nigga just give you money and say, hey, here you go. I make you put some of that shit in my name. Mm-hmm. That's right. Business. It's all business. It ain't got nothing to do with nothing personal. This nigga down there scared to talk to his mama and then, yes, mama, yes, that. About as old as I am. Charlie left me for that nigga. And then when she found out the truth, she felt like a paper asshole. And still looking like one. I would too. If God sent me a gift and I turned it down for a paper asshole, I keep telling people, bro, I lost my son 
doing what God telling me to do. I'm trying to tell y'all right then and there, I didn't have to lose my son. She could have left. I could have went to war with her and my family. I could have. I would have won that battle. But I had a job to do here, unfortunately. And I'm going to let my family know this too. I'm going to prove to y'all how. I'm going to prove to y'all that God put me on this mission. And some of y'all finna get real scared out there. So scared to the point you got them asshole finna jump. But y'all did this same shit to some other family members years ago before I was born. And one of those family members I think you buried under one of these uh, houses or something somewhere. And hid it from the world. Well, guess what? You can't bury a ghost. And that was a good man y'all killed. And the heavens want revenge for it. Not the ancestor, not him, even though they do too. But the heavens want y'all to answer for it. Sick of y'all going down this road, acting like you're mentally retarded. Now, I'm finna curse the parents and whoever else keep doing this bullshit too because after I put this out, you motherfuckers gonna get mad and hate my guts, period. But you gonna straighten the fuck up. Those of you who keep putting the insurance on your goddamn sitting, on your relatives, and then coming to the bright idea that you need to uh, put some radiator fluid in their food, slowly get rid of their ass. We all know you're doing that because you can't read. The easiest, let me tell y'all something out there, black world. The easiest paperwork to fill out is an insurance policy. You better know it. And that's why them dumbasses do it. They don't even be thinking about the money at first. But then, when the times get tough, they think about the money. And they think about the fact of how long it took them to build up the courage to fill out that paperwork? Now, do you think they really gonna go fill out some regular paperwork and get a business? Hell no. They gonna go ahead and get rid of you, even though they love you. So basically, long story short, the motherfuckers who keep leaning on insurance policy to get money, you bitches slow. The end. Now, okay. Let me finish my story about this dude that went around stealing money out of everybody's account. So, after he got this 17 grand, the nigga said, got very excited with himself like he uh, accomplished something. So, I went back up to the city with him and uh, just to see how, you know, what exactly he had to do to make this work. Acting like I'm a joiner. Don't you know this motherfucker had to go get LLCs? He had to go get all of the business shit, y'all, to be a scam artist. Now, I thought the whole purpose of you being a scam artist is because you didn't want to do the paperwork and shit for the business. Now, what the fuck is you a scam artist for when you still got to get the proper credentials to be a fucking scam artist I mean, as a business? You get what I'm saying now? Carmen. Off top. Not no empress, not no king, not no queen, none of that. A straight Carmen. And you can, after this, after the ones who hear this and know you fall into this uh, shoebox, just know if you've been trying this whole time to elevate, you can stop because your lifetime on earth is to be a motherfucking karmic. Because if you didn't figure it out before you went through all of that shit, you ain't gonna ever figure it out. Even after me telling you this, you're gonna continue to be a scam artist with all them goddamn license credentials. Them business credentials. Trust me, it's a lot easier and you're going to make a lot more money if you take that bullshit and go ahead and get a legit business because you already got the credentials. What the hell is going on out here, y'all?
And you women out there that's acting like damn, grown as hell, saying you are empress and this and that and listening to mama and daddy on whether or not what person you need to be with for the rest of your life, you may be a you might be an empress one day, but right now you still a corn. Don't give a fuck how old you is. Because the whole purpose of being an empress or anything higher than that is the fact that you get your information from God. I know tarot cards that done told you exactly what to do. You will still go ask whoever and go by what they say and lose your ass. What's the fucking point? What is the point? That's like getting married and you swingers. Huh? Okay, let's just not get married. Oh, unless you gotta get another dollar. It's always about a fucking dollar, bro. That shit irritating me, bro. Gold I can see. Give me some gold. I know what to do with gold. I know why gold is so valuable. But I owe you. Man, get the fuck out of here. I see why y'all gotta goddamn get on these videos and make it rain with your money and buy all this fancy shit because your songs really ain't that good anyway. And if you want anybody to pay attention to it, and you know you gotta grab the karma's attention because ain't no real motherfucker don't care. So you better go out there looking like uh, who done it, who did it, and why. That shit don't make no no damn sense. But yeah, to y'all, those of y'all that's preaching on the Bible stuff, all I'm saying, which is good. They need to know that too. But don't criticize those of us who are not. And I'm going to be real with you. When it comes down to that homosexual shit, I, ain't, I know I ain't taking part in that because the last of my study was uh, when I was studying the, uh, the Atlanteans, which is older than Kemet, I learned something that I won't say on here. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna let it go no farther than that. It don't mean that it's okay or not. So don't even get that in your head. But I learned that it's nothing for me to question. Only God can really question those folk, bro. Just like God putting me in this situation and all of y'all acting like I'm sorry and don't want to work. When? I ain't been not working since 14, but three years. I'm 40. I'm used to pushing 70 hours a week. Hard, back-breaking labor. Then got to come home and make sure the mistress happy. Even though she treats you like shit. Oh, I'm used to it. The problem is with you humans is that you ain't never satisfied. I want everybody to take a deep breath when I say this. Tell the truth. If you got exactly what you wanted today, Will you love it the same six months from now? Don't answer too fast now. Or will you treat it just like you treat your flesh today? Shit. Come on, it's obvious. Why you think God ain't pouring out blessing no more? He gave you a body. He gave you flesh. I mean, he give you a body, because you asked for that. Okay, liver bad, lungs bad, STDs through the roof, out of, what, uh, out of shape, skin melting off of you. Um, and how is that proving to God that you're thankful?
And I know a lot of you sorry motherfuckers out there agree to the man that put in the soil, make the soil work for itself. If you know nails, don't care motherfucker, don't learn how to use them nails when you need it, pick your spots. My grandma was a beautiful woman, all her and her sisters, but they was in the gardens. Believe me, I know, but they wore my ass and made me get out there. They was happily in the gardens. It didn't matter if they were cheating on their husband or not, or their husband was cheating on them. Some of them wasn't cheating. Most of them didn't cheat. They had their moments back in the days. They had their bumps in the road, but they didn't make their well go to the so dry to the point where they had to literally had their well removed. And put on Walmart shelf. Melatonin makes you sleep good at night. Now, if I said anything to um, make y'all dislike me out there, hate me more than you uh, been hating me, then blame the scam, the spam people. But y'all whoop their ass, because it's legal for them to rob you. That's what I'm saying, law enforcement. Y'all want a lot of respect, but in the last five or six years, y'all been worse than the gang. Y'all the worst gangsters that's ever been known to man. I see people walking up the road because I know because I have to pick them up, even the ones that I don't need to be around. Walking 24-7 in the rain, sleet, or snow to the stove because you know it ain't no mortar around here. Done stopped you, asked you, and you said that wasn't your job. No, it is actually it is your job to protect and serve. You're supposed to serve the people. Like, in any way, if they ask you for some help, motherfucker, that means you're supposed to help them. It, don't, it, it ain't got to be a crime. Y'all motherfuckers, the ruthless gangsters out there, man. Now, before five years ago, okay, I might say different, but damn. Y'all out there, I don't know who killing the most. Oh, they said this gang right here put a, 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 a tag on you, bro. You, get, you know what I'm saying? Okay, if that gangster got a, um, a bounty on me, but let me go check what to see what the cops got on me. Y'all, y'all, y'all are forcing God to regurgitate y'all ass as if y'all know y'all finna go somewhere great after this is over. Let me tell y'all something. I'm gonna tell y'all this shit one more time. When God, the last time I died and God saved me out of hell, didn't I just tell y'all that's when I was in my prime? I wasn't smoking a nothing. I didn't even cuss. So why I go to hell? You get it now? Y'all better start cranking up your intuition out there if you're gonna continue to live in a way that gonna send you straight to hell. Cause I know motherfuckers out there too many people out there who don't smoke, who don't drink, who don't cuss, who, who don't do none of this stuff, go to church every Sunday and Wednesday just to fuck. And it don't matter what position they in in church. And it don't matter what church it is. So, where do we go from here, ladies and gentlemen? And you motherfuckers out there quit calling me lazy. Half of y'all motherfuckers, even the rich ones, once your ass go bankrupt and got to go through this dark night of the soul, you ain't going to have nothing that I got to this today. At least I was smart enough to pay something off. Trying to rush me to go back to work. For what? So one of you women, I can have any woman I want if I go back to work. Who the fuck said I'm going to choose you? I told my ex. 
The next time I have to do this shit, I'm gonna make sure it be a Beyonce. I ain't gonna get nothing of no any kind of standards. Oh, she gonna be right like she just walked slap out of heaven. Fuck a magazine. I gotta pay for it. Shit. Hell wrong with y'all. Gonna be like God brought her to me personally. Shit. You niggas out there talking about you just that list out, but I want to go, but my parents don't agree to it. Well, too bad. That means you don't, I don't agree with you. You fucked yourself when I heard about that. So I'm looking for a woman, not no girl. I'm looking for a woman that family know better to say that to that woman because they know they're going to need that woman one day. And that's exactly how I'm going to be after this journey of mine. The next time my family going to know better to say something to me. Because they going to know they going to need me one day. I'm going to put the game back in order. Everybody been, I'm going to say this shit one more time. Ain't y'all out like this struggling and broke and getting broken and wondering what the fuck going on? It's because of one of the reasons because you're treating motherfuckers that been feeding you the whole time. You've been biting the hand to feed you. That, that's the one of the key things right there. And I'm one of those motherfuckers. You sitting there listening to goddamn who done it, who did it, and why, because they got some funny jokes. They can sit from a distance and tell jokes because they got a few dollars to make you kiss their ass. But the problem is, is that they ain't going to take care of your ass. I got jokes too, and I'm about to start lashing them out on people. Uh, but I ain't, you know, because I'm going to call your name. I'm going to join your fucking ass and slap out. I'm trying my best not to do that shit. Because I done did that shit at least four or five times in my life and regretted it every time. Doing it with the intentions of wishing you would try to kill me, wishing you would walk up on me. But it got a lot worse than that. Them people lost their fucking life. Real bad. So so bad it didn't matter if they were the biggest murderer on the street. Once I got through with their ass, I was the murderer. How could you do that today? I said, but this motherfucker just killed like so, 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 so. why you do that today? Look at him over there. Well, yeah, he looking like a paper asshole. And itching my face like, what's wrong with that? He, he shouldn't look like a paper They give me the business. That's what I don't do with y'all. That's what I don't deal with candy rappers. I don't deal with motherfucking jump up and down boys. Because you can be friends with me now. Your favorite artist walk down the road. You'll start dick riding that nigga. And if that nigga look at me and say, hey man, what the fuck wrong with him? You'll just go off the deep end. You'll just fucking say all kind of shit about me. And I thought we were supposed to be best friends. Switch a real ass nigga. Geechee nigga, bro. I, the days of the Geechee is dead. I don't even know why you niggas want to be haters to that degree. Because all of you end up in dead, uh, in jail, somebody bitch, or dead. Every last one of you. One did Nipsey in, one did this person in, one did that person in, one did that person. It don't matter who the fuck paid you to do the job. You still got, you the fall guy. Who the fuck signs up to be a fall guy anyway? I done had many major businesses try to put me up on a fall guy level. That's like under the CEO. It's some real money in that shit. But I still said no. Anything for a dollar. Here's my soul for sale. Damn it, you lucky I can't get souls like the devil and God. I buy your soul from you. If you knew how important it was. But don't worry though, it ain't as important as them retros. At least to you it isn't. 